Mastering Three-Point Lighting in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning through practical examples. Today, we're going to explore a term from the world of photography and videography, three-point lighting. This concept is not only crucial for budding photographers and filmmakers but also provides a great opportunity for English learners to expand their vocabulary and understanding of descriptive language in technical settings. Let's illuminate the subject together. Three-point lighting is a standard method used in visual media such as films, photography, and television. It involves using three separate light sources to illuminate the subject being photographed or filmed. The goal is to create an image with depth, eliminating shadows that might detract from the subject, while highlighting the best features. This technique is a cornerstone in creating professional-looking visual content, ensuring the subject is seen clearly and in the most flattering way. Key Light the key light is the primary source of light in three-point lighting. It's typically placed to one side of the camera, shining directly upon the subject. This light is the strongest and has the most influence on the overall look of the scene. It creates the main shadows and highlights, defining the subject's form and textures. Fill light. Opposite the key light, we introduce the fill light. Its purpose is to soften and reduce the shadows created by the key light, without eliminating them entirely. The fill light is usually less intense and can be adjusted to control the contrast and visibility of details in the shadows. It helps in balancing the lighting, ensuring that the subject is not lost in darkness. Backlight. The final touch in three-point lighting is the backlight, also known as a hair light or rim light. Positioned behind the subject, often pointing directly towards the camera, it creates a delicate outline or halo effect around the subject. This separates the subject from the background, adding depth and dimension to the image. The backlight is crucial for achieving a three-dimensional look in a two-dimensional medium. Understanding and mastering three-point lighting is essential for anyone involved in creating visual content. It's not just about the technical aspects of positioning lights. It's also about understanding how light shapes and defines what we see. For English learners, discussing three-point lighting provides a rich context for learning new vocabulary, especially adjectives and verbs related to light, shadow, depth, and texture. Moreover, it's a practical example of how English is used in professional settings, bridging the gap between language learning and real-world application. We hope this video sheds light on the intriguing concept of three-point lighting and its significance in visual media. By understanding the basics of this lighting technique, you not only learn about a key element of photography and filmmaking but also enrich your English vocabulary and comprehension. Remember, mastering a language involves exploring its use in various contexts. And what could be more enlightening than the art of lighting? Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more English learning adventures.